What is going on everybody? My name is Diana Extra Cosmo and welcome back to another Overwatch video. So this is a very long awaited video as my last new hero video for Overwatch 2 did pretty well. It's currently the uh, most popular video on my channel that's not a live stream, and it's currently sitting at 39k, almost 40k views at the time of recording, which is absolutely insane. So you guys obviously like these videos, and the reason it took so long was because I didn't want to flood the channel with these because they were doing well. I don't like people who just, just because something's doing well, they flood the channel with it and be annoying, so that's why this took so long to make. Also, a lot of you watch my channel but are not subscribed, so if you do find yourself liking my videos, then please hit the subscribe button, it's free, and if you don't like my videos, that's also free to unsubscribe. So let me stop blabbing now and get into this video's heroes and abilities. So I am going to be using two types of references, official Overwatch and Blizzard, and fan-made things as well that have gained a lot of popularity and I thought were really, really cool. So I want to start off with the Blizzard stuff first, since that is more likely to come in the future to Overwatch 2. So first, I want to start off with this hero that doesn't really have a name. A lot of people know him as Null Hector, just to give him like a joke name to call him something, but he is the Dreadlock Omnic in Retribution, I'm pretty sure is the one he's in, and I think he has a very, very high chance at making his way into the game. A lot of people have been talking about him, so he is not actually a member of Talon just fighting for the Omnics. He has a US English accent, meaning he is most likely based in the greatest democracy in the world, America. Now that is mostly what we know about his character, but what about his abilities? Now I'm going to be using another person's ideas for abilities for a concept they made for their own hero. All of the links will be in the description, it won't be exactly the same, but I do like some of the abilities on this spreadsheet this person came up with, so I'm going to be using those as I said. So this guy is pretty beefy, so I'm going to put him in the tank role, and his primary fire is going to be a beam, it won't be too powerful, something like Zarya's beam, but with a little bit more range, but it has a super cool ability. Now, before I say this, some people really might not like this, and I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to be talking about this one in the comments, so it would have to be balanced accordingly with cooldowns and other things, because this is kind of powerful if it doesn't have the right amount of cooldown time, but his E would power up the beam and make it able to cut small holes or boxes and shields for a short amount of time before they can heal up that little box again. The best thing I can compare this to is something from Rainbow Six Siege, if you play that game. Um, it's like the Operator Maverick. I'll put a picture of his ability and what it does on the screen right now if you don't play Rainbow. But he has a flamethrower and it can like cut through walls. But this would be on a large cooldown. Maybe not something like Red's large cooldown, but like, but like maybe Immortality cooldown. I'm not sure if those are the same, but like around 20 seconds is where I'm shooting at for this. I think this would provide great utility for the team. So that's what really the main goal of this is, is to just find new ways to provide utility with these new heroes. His next ability is going to be something called Capture Orb, and this is going to be a CC ability. It's going to pull the enemy towards you and not do too much damage, just bring them closer to the team, it, but it can be used, for example, to pull someone into the well in Ilios or the pit on Nepal. It won't be huge, but just a little bit of a, a tug but a tug enough that it's useful enough to be a whole ability as its own. And his passive is going to be called Overdrive, and when you get below 50 health, his beam will get stronger, not to be able to break the shield stronger, just DPS-wise stronger, and he will get a little damage boost because he's about to die. Lastly is his ult, it's going to be another CC, and going to be a ground pound type of ability. This would be able to be blocked by shields because it would be pretty powerful, but it will knock you away in a radius of the mystery Omnic, no name yet. <laughs> this is getting harder every time I mention him, or her, you never know, <laughs> just because he has no name. <laughs> but it will knock you away in a radius and do a good amount of damage, so maybe this could be a good stall or cap ult. I'm excited to see what you guys think about this. Next up is another hero who is actually practically confirmed, maybe not as a whole hero, but as an ability and is already in Overwatch. Jetpack Cat, we have seen the kitty on the Brigamote, but we do actually- wait, that sounds really really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but we do actually have proof of Jetpack Cat being used in Overwatch 2, specifically as a talent, not as a hero. If you guys don't know what talents are, they are new abilities that are going to be used in the story mode of Overwatch 2, and a cat uh, logo actually appears in this leaked image. Now, it's very, very hard to see because it's kind of blurry, but I zoomed all the way in, so I'll just read it out for you guys, 
and this says a curious friend in a jetpack arrives to battle to help you and your team now this is huge but what could this mean what is this ability going to be i want to compare it to something like a flying attack drone thing that would like stick around for a little i would assume you can't control him it would be cool if you could actually like control him but i don't think you'll be able to but what I'm assuming this means is that the cat will just show up and murk a bunch of the enemies who you're currently fighting. So this is super awesome. I'm excited to see something like that pop in. One of my favorite things about Jetpack Cat is the concept art for him. There's so much for this little guy. So there is the best one on the screen right now that I personally saw. It's really, really good. Um, let me know what you guys think about Jetpack Cat. I know Jeff said it would never come as a playable hero, but would you guys want him as a playable hero or at least be able to control him during the talent? Let me know in the comments below. Now, this next hero from Blizzard is someone who is always looked over and not really mentioned much, but Torb's rival Sven. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've never heard of this guy until I went to go make this video. So he is in the comments. If you read the comics, then you probably do know who this is, but I'm placing him as a tank. He is a robot Titan builder and a mechanic like Torb and can control his robot remotely, which is going to play into his abilities later on. So if you want more information on Sven, I'm not going to ramble on this and waste your time. So you guys can look that up yourself if you want to read that. So his primary fire is going to be a plasma blaster. He uses this in the comics. It will have two variants, primary being the plasma blasts and and the secondary being a charged up bolt, which will do a little bit more damage, kind of like the charge up on May's gun. It will be a projectile. Next are going to be his defense drones, which will block shots for a short amount of time. They will pretty much act as a defense matrix, but only for a short amount of time, so you have to time it really correctly. And his next ability will be able to shortly build up a weak allied robot. This can contest points, but it will take 1.5 seconds to create, to like build up for him, to pull him back from just being able to spawn an ally to stall point. It can shoot and it will wield a shield. And it will also disappear after a short amount of time, if not killed immediately. <laughs> Lastly, his ultimate, which is called Upgrade. His robot will get stronger, but he will be able to take control of it this time. Its guns will get stronger, and he will be able to use this for a short amount of time until it breaks down after about 10 seconds. Now, that's the last of the Blizzard official heroes, but now what about heroes that are completely fan-made? So this hero is called Zamin. This is him on the screen right now, and the creator actually did make abilities for him already, so I'll just use his. <laughs> so I'll start off with his primary fire, which is a long-range projectile venom ball, and then his secondary, which is called snake bite, fires a short-range venomous cloud that poisons the subject and drains life over time. His second ability is called snake charmer, which releases a snake, and when the snake bites the target, there is a little cloud of poison which dazes the enemy for a short amount of time. I actually really, really love this ability a lot. I think it's super unique, and we don't really have anything like it in the game. And lastly is his ultimate, which is called the Shisha Bomb. I definitely didn't pronounce that right. It releases all of the contents of his cannon and emits a huge puff of venomous smoke. It's used to push enemies back, and there's also really nothing like this in the game. So hopefully we see something cool like this as well. These are all the heroes for today's video. I really didn't want to flood this video with heroes that have no chance of coming to the game because they're fan made, even though they are super cool, so I'm only going to stick with one. These are, once again, all ideas and nothing officiated, so don't come at me for that, please. <laughs> Do you guys like the ideas of these heroes? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you want more gaming content and news, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can see all my videos when they first come out. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, leave a comment and you can get picked for that. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.